the necessary nine design principles for embodied VR and active STEAM education. Have you experienced riding on a Ferris wheel, a horror train, or maybe on an octopus ride? These are some of our experiences that always register in our mind. With the advent of more natural user interfaces, the entire field of digitized educational content is poised to change. Highly immersive virtual environments that can be manipulated with hand controls will affect how content is encoded and retained. Tremendous opportunities for learning are associated with VR, Balinson 2017, and one of the most exciting aspects of VR is its ability to leverage interactivity. Now, what is VR? VR refers to an immersive 360 degrees experience, usually inside a headset where the real world cannot be seen. In VR, the learners can turn and move as they do in real world, and the digital setting responds to the learner's movement. What makes VR special for learning? Two attributes of VR may account of its future contributions to education. This we call, we call the two profound affordances. The first profound affordance is the feeling of presence, which designer must learn to support, while not overwhelming learners. Slater and Wilbur, 1997, describe presence as the feeling of being there. The second profound affordance pertains to the embodiment and the subsequent agency associated with the manipulating content in three dimensions. Manipulating objects in three-dimensional space gives a learner unprecedented personal control over the learning environment. This chore and reenactments using the hand controls should increase agency and positively impact learning. A set of optimal design principles for immersive VR in STEAM education is the necessary nine. These are number one, scaffold cognitive effort and components in interface. It means that one step at a time. Number two, use guided exploration. Number three, give immediate actionable feedback. Number four, play test often with correct user group. Number five, build in opportunities for reflection. Number six, Use the hand controls for active, body-based learning. Number seven, integrate gestures that map to the content to, to be learned. Number eight, gestures are worth the time and extra expense. They promote learning, agency, and attenuate cyber sickness. Number nine, embed assessment both during and after the lesson. According to Moore and Pletcher in 2012, sense of agency can be described as a feeling of generating and controlling actions. The most important predictor of agency in virtual environment is that users have control over their actions and are able to exert that control over parameters in the environment. According to Johnson Glenbers in 2018, cube of educational embodiment in VR, manipulation helps individuals learn the content congruent with their gestures because of reduced cognitive demands. Finally, by the use of the important necessary nine as the design principle for embodied VR in STEAM education, we can expect and say that learning would significantly take place. Thank you.